All right, everyone. I am uh, running GG. I just want to do one pull the entire pack as much as possible in ZG. Uh, my gears are not that great, but uh, I just do this for fun, for challenge, because I see a lot of YouTubers and streamers uh, running with the, uh, I guess, uh, using the lips and the limited vulnerability potions and also the Noggin Fox Alexa. But in this run, I wanted to challenge myself and I will not be using any of potions. Uh, my gear kind of broken because I kind of practice all day long. A lot of death, by the way. A lot of try and error. Just a, a little training for I have more confidence in pulling this. And I'm glad I met this pack here. Because we can mark them. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a X throw an X. And I'm just doing this for fun, guys. It's really nothing personal against anyone's or trying to, sh you know, to, to compete with anyone. I just, just like Satama, okay? He like to do things for, he like to be a hero for fun. I like to challenge myself in WoW for fun, because I'm pretty bored. Without all these challenges, it would be very boring. And I apologize here. Uh, I'll be not, I'll not be using uh, the 100% mount either. Cause this is all I can afford for now. Maybe I'll get in AV by next year. Huh? Is hundred percent speed mount in AV? Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's possible. Oh, look at my record right there. I gotta wait for this pet. It's very important because later on when we run across this bridge to pull this last two pack, those two packs, it's very important that they are not there. Because if they're there, it'll screw up the whole run. You literally just die. Unless you know a way to reset it as fast as you can, all the reset points, but you have an extra. So uh, good luck with that. So I usually use rank one sheep on the other fish. And then I just frost nova the second. And I'll blink through to the sword here. And I already marked that guy over there, the berserker. He's marked. So that's good. So I'm gonna pop my ice berry, my mana shield, and let's just go. Those Naga Fox Alexa is really tedious to get the slow fall. So I uh, figure, you know what? Let's just do this with my, uh, with my decent gear, I guess. You can tell I don't have much mana, but with my spec, I'll show you later, you don't really need mana too much. You just need to have the uh, training because it's a lot of RNG in here. And uh, I'm just doing this just to uh, see myself and see how I improve on the run. Yeah, be very careful. I marked that berserker as well. I'm gonna jump here and slow fall. At the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and fire blast this crap to pull the pack. And I'm gonna like blink through this pack right here. Frost Nova them and hug the left. Hug it, hug it, hug it like you love it. Or else you're gonna fall down. But if you fall down, you can jump back up. 
you can if you have a mount you can actually jump here and there but then I'm not using it and I can't the way I'm doing this pool very standard kind of spell this pack use the uh, slow fall again oh yeah look at that not too bad with the cone of coal, huh? Can blink here. Oh no. Oh no. This is the RNG I'm talking about right here. Can we make it? Can we make it? I think I can do it. Oh my goodness, this is tough. I missed the jump too. I might be able to make it. All right. No, no, come on, come on. I think I can do it. Yep, got some of them. Body pool, body pool. Guess not. Kind of spell pool then. Who is that pack that I mark? Okay, they're not here. That's good. Here we go. Here we go. Kind of spell that pack that I. Uh, Come on. This jump should not miss. Blink, blink, blink. There we go. Made it. Oh yeah. Level one frost, I mean uh mage armor. Changes from the ice armor. You don't really need ice armor here, you need a mana regen. And go ahead and RP well, jump on this edge, and blizzard right here. Everything should be according to plan. Oh, for one crop. Uh, this is actually the place I want to be. But I think we should be able to do this for now. Right in the middle. RP work really helps here. Uh, there's a lot of different jump that you guys can do. Depending on which one you are comfortable with, go ahead and stick with it. RP walk or no RP walk. A lot of practice should help. I seen the, oh no, oh no. If they aggro, you just walk backward. Oh, and G, jeez. Oh yeah, there we go. We want clear casting. That's what we wanted. Being cheap on the mana right now. Don't fail me now. So far, so good, huh? Tapping to see my target here. It's working pretty well. Come on. There we go. This is the place I want to be. And when you jump up, there we go. Aim first, aim the blizzard first, and then jump up and aim it and then jump down. But when you jump down, walk to the left a little bit. Jump down to the right, you know, uh, on the rope, and then walk to the left a little bit so that you can jump back up easily. See, you see how I fell there? But it's okay. Master this jump. <clears throat> Gotta be fast with this. Oh no, the tiger. Need 
clear casting. It should have evocation, so it should be okay. Probably not gonna use it. Try not to use much of the skill and ability. It's working pretty well. Take a while because of rank one, no procting, no clear cast procs. I'm not that lucky here. Oh, there we go. Speaking of luck, huh? you can angle it and jump backward. The angle is very important. Here we go. Oh yeah, finally, a good blizzard. Prep it here, jump down, and move left a little bit. I don't know if you notice. Sometimes they uh, still come at you when you jump up. Just walk back a little bit, just like I did earlier. And that should help. I just need another clear casting here. You hook the very left. Just be easier. Some people are very skilled. They don't even need RP walk to do this. I try it. It's very tough. So RP walk should help if you're not too used to the, the jump. And I noticed my friend who is an undead female mage had problems jumping on this bridge. And I heard the uh, genome also have problem, but I've seen a lot of people actually do it without any problem. So I don't know. I guess it just takes some practice to get used to. Hard or not, believe in yourself here. And we should be good. Let me pop the uh, gem. Oh, there we go. Popping that gem and getting the clear cast. Oh yeah, baby. GG, game over. Just gonna max rank this. Good game, boys. Oh yeah, sweet. Let's see the loot. I'm a skinner too. Okay. We get all the sweet loot. Knee, knee, knee. Should have put it in free fall, but uh, just want to show you what drop here bee juice these are going for oh my goodness 3.9 to 4.5 go yep price went down boys the price is not right right now girls Forgot to time myself, but usually it takes about uh, eight to ten minutes to finish this run. And uh, I guess if you're boosting people, you can uh, do the regular boosting where they have to stand on the waterfall over there, right over there, that place. Okay, you got to put a path for them, and you got to like run over there and stand there. Oh, if they can, they can try to come over here and. Uh, if they are mages or warlock, they can actually help you if they learn how to jump. So it would be nice. It would be uh, making the run a lot faster. But you know boosting. People don't want to do anything. That's why they want to boost. Just want to AFK. Well, very successful run here. We can call it here. 
And I just want to show you my gear and my spec before we end this session. Okay, so that's my hand. That's my club. Still green, level 54. Some blues. Ah, Arkin is laking. Oh, nice. That's one purple. And then this is the minus P. This is, I don't know what level boot this is, but uh, it's pretty low. Still, we're able to do it. You can actually do this naked too. I have tried, and many people have tried, uh, and they're very successful. Of course, they die too. But at least they show the video of the success. And that is my gear. Let me show you my uh, talent. Okay. I went with the arcane talent, as you can see here. Um, doing it for Meridon, also for, uh, you know, SM, Cat and Arms, and Library. So I choose Major Atumen. Uh, this is very important right here, Major Absorption for SM and Meridon. Clear casting is very important for this run and most of the AOE Blizzard run. Uh, Arcane Resilience, of course, a little bit more armor will help. Mages are so squishy. Probably get one shot if we have no armor or barriers to protect us. Of course, the main, uh, the main spec for this, the main talent for this is the Arcane Meditation. Give you 15% of your mana regeneration to continue while casting. That is very, very good. Because with this 30% here, it stacks. So with the uh, mage armor, it stacks our regeneration. So that's why we don't, we don't really have a mana problem. Unless you use max rank all the time. Uh, so try to conserve mana by using rank one. And that should be able to uh, do the trick. <clears throat> uh, standard frost bill, I think. I don't even know what standard is to be honest. I just go for whatever I feel like in here because this is wow, you know, in classic. Uh, you can go with the uh, cookie cutters, you know, the spec that people try to build. And uh, only if you, I guess, if you play a mage, you would, or any class, you would probably try different spec for your class just to have fun a little bit. Uh, but the main one is probably the uh, the blizzard and the slow, okay? The permafrost and the blizzard. Of course, those other one helps, like supportive, like frost nova cool down. I uh, went a little shatter because I love the shatter combo in case I need it. Yeah, I love the crit, so the uh, ice shard. Uh, I suppose to get this for blizzard for more damage. Yeah, piercing eyes, but I did not take it. As you can see, it takes some time and uh, having piercing ice hops to speed up a little bit of the process. Everything else is standard, I believe. Coral Coral, I love Coral Coral, though I kind of, sometimes I miss. And then of course the ice berry, very important, right? That's why it's all the way down this tree, this talent tree. I love to try other spec too. Uh, I have seen people try fire for Meridon Princess Farm. So it'll be faster because Frost is a little slow. But I guess we can create another video for that. Right now, I'm just going to skin everything and go loot the voodoo pile. And uh, I apologize, my oofs kind of suck right now. I got to level up. But I have a hunter. I usually go naked and go loot the... Uh, the voodoo pile and all the herbs, max level herbs. Sometimes you get a blood vine that sell for about 20 gold right now, standard. So let me go loot the pile. You can end the video here if you don't want to see me loot the pile and get mind control. Mm, maybe changing this too. I like to go up here and blink through, but sometimes that moth can kill me. Should I take risks? Yeah, I take risks. I always take risks. There we go. 
in the game though. In real life, uh, gotta know the limit. Just gotta wait for this berserker. Don't be fooled by his slowness here. He's he is Speedy Gonzalez actually, not an old man that we think he is. All right. Mm, come on. Ooh, another berserker. Oh my goodness, I miss a few tires. <laughs> I miss a few tires. We gotta eat up. Look at that thorium vein. Hakuri thorium vein. Yeah, if you're a miner and a herbalism, you're making money in here with the arcane crystal. You actually uh, can be mine. Let me just kill one at a time. Time to solo kill, right? Too much AOE going on. Right here, this is a spec I want to try, right? Yeah, baby. Oh, you want some too? Little cup. Yeah, sometimes not pulling this cup actually helps a lot. Because what happens is when they get low health, they will call the, the nearest pack. They run to the mother and call the, the call for help. And sometimes that can ruin your run. Especially back in the day when uh, people try to do the uh, Como Cold Flame Strike, Frost Nova Flame Strike Como Cold combo for the Shadow Spec combo. But since people figure out how to do one pool, it is the way to go because everyone want to be productive and efficient. It's starting to become a little like retail. Maybe a classic 1.0, 1.5, 2 .0 will be the retail, which I do not want. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I really wanted to just test myself out and uh, maybe show up a little bit to my friend or maybe just saying that it's possible for everyone to do this. Uh, I'm not too good with the mage class as a lot of other people are in the main uh, class as a mage. But I love this one. Uh, I just do it for fun and for my own challenge because I think it was, it's very interesting how mages farm versus hunters and other classes. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your wild time. Okay, stay healthy, stay safe, and take care, everyone. I will end the session here.